Do yeah. we need to pop up out of the cornfield and do that? I, I like that. Like, like on hee-haw? Like started it and uh, a couple of days ago and had something come loose on his uh, mower so uh, we went ahead and rolled that well we got the side shield off because we got still got some oil leaks and uh, but I'm gonna use it I'm gonna go rake some hay Almost hooked the hay rake up to that so I could have air conditioning. We're gonna do it old school.
this is some I cut yesterday. You can see the difference that was cut before, and that's what I cut yesterday. So I'm gonna rake it separate because you can see it's uh, still green. That out there will do. So I'm gonna go back, go home, eat lunch, cool off a little bit, and I'm gonna roll that out there. If I get done rolling and this right here looks like it might roll, I'll come back and get the rake and uh, rake it and roll it too. I gotta get it done. I need to get in the wheat. Wrapped up good. That's a winner. The first bail, it was a success. So, uh, unless I run out of net wrap, everything should run pretty smooth. Back it up.
those are some good looking hay rows. Um, we had some work done on this baler this year. So hope, hopefully it'll last us a couple more years. Um, Tri-Green Equipment in Leeton, Alabama had a McHale, a new McHale. I think that's probably going to be the next rover we buy. Uh, 65000 was the price on that, and I think. So, I'd like to find one a couple years old in good shape. So if you know anything about McHale's, let me know. Last year I explained that uh, when you're rolling hay, you just kind of want to bob and weave like I'm doing right now. See how that one's ruffled up on the end? Just check and make sure this is... I'm throwing an arrow, so I'm going to see what's going on. Done that when I emptied this last bale. I got some net wrap right here. I'm going to have to cut off. I don't know what caused that to bust. Oh well. I always carry a hot bill knife for stuff like this. It just ain't the dullest or the sharpest right now. But uh Let's see if we can get this off. Oh. All right, I'm gonna put y'all down. Front row, Raggy. Um, I don't know if I'm out of net. I don't think I am, but last two hasn't done anything. So I am out of net wrap. Usually it's like a uh, one of those receipts like on a cash register. It turns a different color to let you know you're out. So I'm going to wreck this out, fold up, and go home. So I got the hard part off, hard part done. I got a little diagram right here on how to thread it around. So uh, I'll probably, after I get this put in, probably go back to raking hay. Stuff my dad does. For some reason he has baling wire right there and it's hanging on my on my net why i have no idea so i raked all that over there it should be good and dry by the time i get to it and I had to run to town to get some net route i got that in there there's one that i messed up so we're back rolling and uh, i've had supper so I'm here for a long time, it looks like. How hot is it? Well, it's hot enough that you can uh, cut hay in the afternoon and roll the hay the next morning. That's how dang hot it is. It don't get no prettier than that. I had to uh, manually tie that in the string, or try to. Uh, something's wrong with the net wrap, so let's get off and see what it is. That last one didn't tie, and now I've got this crap. I'm ready to go home. I'm in my let's sell every head of cow we got, get out of the hay business moves. 
That last bell was golden. So unless I have any more troubles, I'll bring y'all back later and get done maybe. The one I've been waiting on, on the last wind road. I have no idea how many bells we've I've bailed today or anything like that, so don't ask me in the comments. Uh, we got a little sunset playing peekaboo back there behind the trees. So it's like 10 minutes, 8 o'clock. I'm done rolling hay. Cows get to stay a little longer. I'm fixing to find me some uh, cold water, uh, cold bath, shower, and a cold drink. Uh, not necessarily the, out of the same tub, but uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. So thanks for watching. Leave me a comment, and we'll catch you on the next one. You're the orange lady. The Don't orange man that. and the orange lady. <laughs> orange woman good. good. You know. Alright, this is going to drop right down your shirt. Uh, your shirt top is going to come out your uh, come out at your waist. And I'm going to pin this. Alright y'all, <laughs> do you understand what you're doing? Because I'm ready to go. You understand what you're doing? I'm going to say I'm Russ Thomas, Lawrence mm -hmm. County Farmer and mm -hmm. only Yep. Use Case International Red. Yep. Perfect. Hi, I'm Russ Thomas. I'm a Lawrence County farmer, and I only use a Case International Red on my farm. And do that one more time. Hi, I'm Russ Thomas. I'm a Lawrence County farmer, and I only use Case International Red on my farm. He's a natural. Yeah. <laughs> all right. In front of the camera all the time. Next set. Take two. I'm Russ Thomas. I'm a Lawrence County farmer and I'm supporting Mar Lerner because she understands the agricultural needs that Okay, take three. You're good. All right, we're rolling. All right, take 115. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Russ Thomas. I'm a Lawrence County farmer. I'm supporting Mar Lerner, the county executive, because she listens to the needs of farmers and the rural community. Do that one more time because you're on a roll. Can't remember what I said now. <laughs> We're rolling. Well, you know, Russ, I love Case Red, but I am a little partial to orange. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Yep. I think I'm going to say I like. Okay. Okay. You know, Russ. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, you know, Russ, I do like. No. See? What did I tell you? <laughs> okay. Do we yeah. need to pop up out of the cornfield and do that? I, I like that. Like, like on hee like <laughs> Well, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, Russ, I do like Case Red, but I love Mara Lerner Orange. Perfect. Okay. Cool. <laughs>